Well, if you're like me, you are happy summer is here. Summer means travel time. It means a lot of fun. It means time at the pool. It also means sunscreen. And if you are someone who has been following along with the channel, you know I've been talking a lot about sunscreen lately and the ingredients and the problems with it. And something that I didn't even think of, someone in the community asked for. So you know what? Today is a great day to talk about this as we round out Skin Cancer Awareness Month sunscreen. And we know that sunscreen has some dangers uh, for you as far as being absorbed into your skin. And I did do a video and I'll put that right over here uh, if you want to see that later about how to make your own sunscreen and what sunscreens are safe to use that are naturally based. But today I want to talk about something a little bit different. If you're planning to travel, if that's what you're planning to do. There are places that have banned sunscreen, so I wanted to give you a list and some tips on what to do about sunscreen and traveling this summer and the bans that certain uh, areas and states have on sunscreens to help you out. We're gonna talk about that in this video. So yes, well, you're ready to travel, you're ready to hit the pool, your favorite resort, uh, maybe Hawaii, maybe the Caribbean, maybe Mexico, well, those areas have banned sunscreens and there are two ingredients that you need to look out for and they're typically in your aerosol sunscreens but they can also be in the lotion kind and that's oxybenzone and octanoxate and those are two ingredients that harm sea life and have been shown in studies to harm coral reefs so i did a video on this a year ago yeah about right about a year ago uh, when hawaii first banned these ingredients and now they're banned in mexico they're banned in the Caribbean and not just the US Caribbean islands, but the British uh, Virgin Islands are also looking at banning them and the state of Florida is banning them as well. So it's a pretty safe bet that as we move through the rest of the year, these two ingredients are gonna be banned. And there are natural sunscreens you can use that you can make. And I, again, will put a couple of videos up for that. Uh, so stay with me in that but you can also make your own. The biggest thing is to use a biodegradable sunscreen and these commercial sunscreens with these ingredients are non-biodegradable, which means they don't break down. They stay whole in the water and they attach themselves to the coral reefs and they cause the coral reefs to die. So that's a big, big problem. And then of course things live there. Uh, very, you know, we have a lot of endangered species in the oceans these days. So we need to really try to make an effort. And I know you guys in the community are great about this sort of thing because you're the ones that brought this up that I needed to talk about this. Now, commercial brands that are okay. Tropical Sands makes a uh, sunscreen that is zinc oxide based that is commercially produced and is allowable, especially in Mexico. They will recognize that. So you can get that on Amazon. Um, some local outlets may have it, but you probably have to order it online. I would order it well, well in advance. I will put a link to that in the video description box from our uh, page on Amazon so you can go and look and read about it. Or you can make your own again. I will put the recipe uh, in the video description box and we will also have the video up for you uh, at the end of this. Now, as you might expect, if you forget to take your sunscreen and you go to buy this stuff, at your resort or after you get there, you're gonna pay some big bucks for it. So it really does pay to plan ahead. I know most of you know that already, but I just thought to throw that out there and save you some bucks. It's a pretty, it's pretty reasonably priced uh, on Amazon from when I looked at it. So if that's what you're gonna do, plan in advance and make sure that you get it. Uh, and they don't run out of that stuff. So that should be really helpful. And again, if you want more information on sunscreens that are safe for you to use and don't enter your bloodstream, which is the other terrible thing, or are safe for the oceans and marine life, then I have a couple of videos here real quick that you can watch, one on that subject alone and one on which sunscreens are safe for you to use, you and your body to use, protect you from the sun and won't poison you. It's really important. So. Go ahead and click on these two videos and I will see you over on the next one.